All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install this 30 inch fixed glass panel. We charged 400 bucks for this install and it took us 45 minutes to do. I'm going to show you how to do the entire process from start to finish, including the tools you will need. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, before we dive into the video, I wanna go over the tools that we, you will need for this installation. This glass panel requires such a minimal amount of tools, it's super DIY friendly. All you need is a drill. If you don't have a drill, you need a drill. Um, and then <laughs> you will also need a quarter inch diamond drill bit in order to drill through your tile. Screwdriver helps just for some of those torque areas where you don't want to use an impact or anything like that. This type of drill also helps, but obviously you can use that to screw, screw it in as well. Mallet. We're going to need a caulking gun with some silicone, box cutter, and then a long level. That's it, that's everything you need for this glass install. No chop saws, no anything like that. So let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing is to bring your panel, unbox it and bring it into your room and make sure you have something under um, the, the glass itself so you don't get any chips. Also, don't do this by yourself. Get somebody to help you to bring this panel in because it is very heavy. This is a very easy installation if you do it with two people. It gets really sketchy if you have it to do it by yourself because if you dent one of these corners on anything hard, it'll just explode. So you don't want to do that. So inside our box, uh, all we had is this track that's going to go on the bottom for us. We have some gaskets that are gonna go on the side. Um, an absolutely unnecessary amount of screws. I don't know what's up with this, why they have so many. And then this anchor was already installed on here. And this is really the only thing that's gonna be holding it up on the wall itself so that it doesn't fall to the side. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our track and figure out about where it's going to go. So for me, I have this grout line that's running right here. I'm going to try to put my glass right on that just so it looks a little more balanced. Plus, I wanted to keep it more in the center of the curb itself so that the water is not splashing out because there is no door here. So you have that on, on the center, measure it. So for us, we're about three there. Then I want to be at three there. Whoops, I moved it. Then I'm going to be at three there. Make my marks here. That's where we're going to drill our holes. But at the moment, I'm not gonna drill them yet. I wanna dry fit everything to make sure everything works out. So the next thing we're going to do is get our gaskets out of this package here. And there's two pieces. And what's cool is everything is already pre-cut, so you don't have to cut anything. So come over here, I'll show you what we gotta do. So we have this, this is the top gasket that goes right at the top of this um, little bracket. I'll go right there. And what's nice with this kind of foamy piece is that if your shower is just, a, your shower wall is a little bit out of plumb, that will allow you to compensate for that. But you don't, don't have a lot of room to compensate. All right, so in this sleeve of things, uh, what I need is I'm gonna get these two, um, I'm gonna get a couple of these spacers here just so I'm not putting the glass right on the actual, um, track itself so I don't want to chip it so what we're gonna do is just throw that in there 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 one there and then one at the end and then I can go ahead and grab my glass and set it on top of this so you see when we get on our grout line we're perfectly plumb let me give you a little bit of a, a piece of advice if you are not plumb by like eighth of an inch or even a quarter of an inch, you could be out of plumb. Forget about the level, put it on the grout line itself because nobody will ever know that it's not plumb unless you show it to them by setting your, your glass plumb. You wanna make sure that it looks good, right? So that, that's kind of what we're trying to do here. Um, so now that I have this and I know where my bracket is going to go, I'm going to grab my pencil and then come over here and then basically make a mark for to, to know where it goes because now we're gonna take all of this apart, grab this bracket and then actually drill it in and set it. All right, so now I just gotta take this off. All right, so we have this piece from the bracket and what we're gonna do is we know that our glass needs to be right there. So this is the center of the glass. So I need to drill an anchor bolt that will go right into there. 
So now all I have to do is drill three anchor bolts, one here, one here, and then one here. Let's do it. All right, so I've got these ruby bits and uh, this bit right here is a quarter inch bit that I'm gonna be using. Literally the sharpest bits that you could get. It just goes right onto your drill. Um, and then we just have to make these three holes. Watch how easy it goes right through this. No water needed. All right, and again, they gave us about 40 of these anchors and I have no idea why, but we just need three. It's like, you know, when, when you need the extra one, they never give you, but when you don't, they do. All right, so now all, the, all we have to do is just put these anchors in here. But before we do that, very, very important step is to grab our silicone. In this case, I'm using this Luxol one. I really like how smooth it is. And we have to fill these um, holes with silicone in order to make sure that if, the, if water ever gets in there, it would still water tight. So I'm just gonna jam that in there and then do that on all three sides. All right, so again, because we have the spacer in there, I'm going to go with these larger screws for our curb. Um, but make sure, because this head is going to be sticking out just a little bit, make sure that you have those spacers in there so that the glass is never actually touching, um, touching that, okay? So I just need my screw gun here and then set this right into that. All right, so in this case, make sure you're not globbing on a lot of silicone. I wanna get some silicone in here, um, just a small bead, just so that it's kind of holding that glass down. You don't wanna go super heavy with it, that it's oozing out everywhere because then it's just gonna turn into a big mess. So don't do that, please. We're just gonna add a nice little bead like that before we set the glass. All right, now all I gotta do, use my muscles, pick, pick up this glass door and put it, or this glass panel, pick up this glass panel and set it in there. Now I have a little bit of room to push that way and you should see this gasket right here. You should see that compress a little bit like that, then I have two gaskets that need to go in there, or I have this guy that's gonna go in here, and then it will go one on this side, press it up against there, and then walk over here. We're gonna have one go on this side, and then just gonna compress it in. So again, if you have another person, Alex will hold that, from that side, Alex, hold your finger there. And then I will get this screw in there, trying to attach it here. And I'm just gonna push that there and catch that off. I think I got it, Alex. And then our glass is in there. So we wanna make sure that that silicone sets. And look, so now in the instructions, now the instructions show that you have to get silicone and put it all around here and then all around the bottom over here. I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna add a little bit at the bottom. I'm not gonna do anything here because if I'm looking at this right now, see if I'm looking at this, this gasket is just hugging this tile so nicely that I don't wanna put any silicone there. I believe water will stay, but if it doesn't, I'm just gonna come back tomorrow or the next day and then add it. It's always easier to add it than to have to scrape the silicone off. I just like how clean that looks. So all I'm gonna do is get my silicone here and just put a tiny bead right here. The key here is to go super tiny bead, like that. And then in order to smooth it out, what works well for me, lick your finger a little bit and then to smooth it out and look how nice that comes out. Clean it up and we're good.